How you doing guys? My name is Lee. We're in the house of Lee in the Morayfield Mega Store for another Gel Blaster review video with M4A1 Gel Blaster. Today's episode we're going to be looking at the three new options from STS in the AK variety. So we are going to be looking at the 74MS, uh, we also have the AK105 and then we also will be looking at the uh, AK74S. So with these three blasters guys, we won't actually go through a full unboxing. I'll explain why there are a few little things you uh, uh, will need to do with these blasters. You do need to actually put the rear buttstock on and the rear uh, upper receiver on the blaster also with the blowback assembly uh, for your mag prime. But because we have three blasters, it'll take a little bit of time. So we'll just get into it guys. We'll explain what actually comes with these blasters inside the box. All right guys, so we'll get into an overview for the STS AK varieties. Now these are all very similar, so I'm just gonna start here with the 74MS. Um, overview with this blaster is basically nylon construction, majority of it. Internals are metal geared, metal piston rack, nylon mag. Uh, you do have some aluminum though, some steel parts for your outer barrel. Uh, the iron side is plastic though. Moving back to the rear, the stock is plastic. Now this is the same for the uh, 74MS as well as the 105. Uh, they do have the same rear stocks. They do have identical uh, midsection magazine handle. Front section, front uh, handguard is the same. You just have a longer version on the uh, 74MS compared to the 105. Uh, we do have different flash hiders attached to these as well. I am using the orange on uh, the 74 and on the 105 we do have the black style in different uh, actual style as well. Compared to the um, AK over here on the far right, uh, this one is the 74S. This one does have a wood grain uh, actual handle or handguard on the front. It also does have the aluminium outer barrel set up. It just is a longer version as well. But you do get this pretty cool uh, wiry style rear stock set up that does fold back as well. The other two I should also point out, they do have folding stocks also. Uh, these blasters guys do run on your 7.4 volt batteries. Uh, they are equipped with a mag prime. We'll just grab this 74 again just to demonstrate that. Uh, they do run V3, a V3 style uh, nylon gearbox, as I said before, with a full metal uh, gear set internally. They do have your semi-automatic and your fully automatic. This blaster is not loaded, but I will take the mag out. I don't have iPro on for the moment, so you do have your semi and you also do have your full auto. All right, guys. Uh, as well, inside all three of these uh, blasters, you will be receiving your eye protection. You will receive some gels. You will also receive, as I touched on briefly before, you will have uh, your upper receiver. You will also have this little blowback assembly. You will have to actually assemble uh, this one. It does come inside the box, so you'll have your little spring, your little locator in the rear for the rear uh, lockout button and you will also have two Phillips head screws. You will have to screw into your actual uh, charge handle there. Uh, the battery is located in the front of these blasters, as you can see here, Mini Tamiya. Just slide it back out, push that one back in. 
All right, guys, let's get into the category section of this video. At M4A1 Gel Blaster, we like to rate our blasters over four different categories out of 10 for each category. So I'm going to do this one again, uh, going over all three at the same time. So to start off with, guys, we're going to go for looks. All right, starting off again with the 74 MS. Looks wise for this blaster, uh, it is nice and slim line for the AK, so looking very realistic. Uh, I am going to give this one, being the longer version, going to give this one a solid seven out of 10. Just my personal preference, and you'll understand why in a second. It does still have the cool uh, folding stock uh, that you can fold to get a little bit shorter. But again, for myself, I'm gonna give it seven out of 10. All right, because guys, moving on to the uh, AK-105, this one here is the one that I am after. I do like the shorter style in the AK variant. This one here, looks wise out of 10, 10 out of 10. For me, this is the AK I'm going for. Absolutely love this blaster. I do like its shorter construction. And when you do fold that stock around, very nice blaster. This one is the one I'm actually going for. So 10 out of 10 for the 105. Moving on guys, we are back down to the 74S. Even though this one does have the wood grain, looks wise uh, and is longer, I will actually give this one a solid nine out of 10. The wood grain gets me because it does look very uh, similar to the real steel version. It's just that length on the front. I am after the shorter one, so for myself, I can't give it a full 10, but I also do like the rear light and stock uh, styling as well. So if I could swap this style stock onto this blaster here with the wood grain onto the front there, that would be it for me. <laughs> All right, moving along. We'll go into uh, firepower for all three of these blasters being that they run on the same batteries, have the same gearboxes, same gear set. I'm going to rate them all as one out of 10. I'm gonna give them a solid seven out of 10. They do range from that 240 FPS upwards to 260 um, on a 7.4 volt battery. The fire rate is around that uh, 10 to 12 RPS. So yeah, not too bad there, guys. STS AK here, uh, one of the three variants. They're all pretty much the same. Same gearbox, same spring, same battery, same uh, motor. Let's chuck this through the chrono. All right, moving on. Uh, we do have modability. Guys, out of 10, these blasters running the V3 setups, you can mod them. I would keep them to your more of a moderate level. Uh, being nylon, the gearboxes can flex if you put too much stress on them. So if you get these blasters sitting around that 3, 330 FPS using around an M, M90 to M105 spring, that's going to be perfect for these blasters. So modification wise, you could do your uh, SHS gear sets and whatnot, as well as pistons, um, upgraded motors. I'd sit them around that seven out of 10 for modability. Can't go too crazy with them, but you can still do a few things to them there. All right, and lastly guys, we're going to go for durability. Durability wise with these blasters, they are very solid construction. Um, having the outer barrels steel with the nice steel guide right underneath, uh, proper solid nylon construction as well uh, throughout the rest of the blaster. Your magazine is the ABS but is still solid. Um, everything here is solid guys. Uh, I'm going to rate it actually a proper 10 out of 10. Uh, these blasters, unless you do do the wrong thing with them, if you fall over on them or throw them around, um, they will fail, but using them correctly, they will last you a long time. So yeah, solid ratings there for that one. All right, guys, now we've gone through the blasters. Let's give you a uh, quick overview of who we think these blasters are mainly suited to. So 
All three of these blasters, uh, with the price tag they do have, I'd be putting them to your entry level up to your medium level of uh, blaster enthusiast. You do have the different options for your length, so if you're looking to do CQB or outdoor field, you are gonna be able to choose which one you would, you would like for yourself. So definitely a great blaster for attacking the outdoor fields or attacking your CQB fields if you're choosing uh, your middle option here. So yeah, anybody keen just to get out and have a go, these are the kind of blasts you'd be looking for. Being metal geared, they are a little bit better than, than some of the others available, so they are a great option for a first, first uh, buyer or your medium intermediate uh, level blaster enthusiast. Guys, if you're watching this video, you're going to be watching us on YouTube, so always remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, get all the notifications. If you'd like to, leave us a comment down below. Uh, if you would also like to, because you didn't like it, double dislike. Always hit that button twice, as we always say here at M4A1. Now also we have Facebook and Instagram, just so you can stay up to date with all the latest notifications or anything that we have running, specials, discounts, deals, etc. Guys, please stop and think. Always stop and think when it comes to gel blasters. Please remember that. Look into the Stop and Think campaign and give yourselves a little bit of a re-education on how to use gel blasters safely in the public. All right, m4a1gelblaster.com. Everything over $30 is free shipping, guys. Always remember that as well. If you're getting a couple of bags of gels or whatnot, you're going to get free shipping. Remember, we do have the Ausgel varieties as well, so get on there and check them out. Uh, we also do have over 16, 17 shops, I always forget, 17 stores, guys. I'm here in Moorayfield right now in the mega store, but we do have 17 shops in total. So if you are looking to get a gel blaster, jump on uh, Google, have a quick search, you'll find that we're probably just around the corner from you. So get on into your closest store, we'd love to see you in person. My name is Lee, I'm in the house of Lee. The more I feel at Megastore, we'll see you on the next Gel Blaster review. Cheers.